You know, when you think about it, Rockstar are a little like Toby from The Office. Every time they try to do something fun or exciting, they make it not that way. Which leads me to ask the question, why are you the way that you are? I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. The open wheel races were released this week, and it was a pretty neat idea having F1 cars introduced into GT Line. I mean, yeah, it's not the first thing I would have added to GT Line, but hey, whatever. It's something new. The new cars are actually really fun. They're so different and unique. Yeah, they cost freaking $18 million, it seems like. But hey, it's new. It's kind of fun, or so we thought. Because that's something it seems like Rockstar don't do a lot of. Thinking. I'm going to take you guys back to the Arena War DLC. A couple years ago, the Arena War came out, and there was a, a mode, like a, a little racing mode in it, where the game actively encouraged you to hit other people. It was like, hit other people. Because if you knock them out of the race, then you could win, even if you don't finish first. So you had somewhat of an incentive to actually knock people out the race. And surprisingly enough, in this race, in this game mode, if you went the wrong way, the game would actually put you in passive mode so you couldn't do any damage, which kind of went against the whole idea of the concept that they had, but... I mean, I don't know. I guess that's kind of cool because you can have people just going around and ruin everything. And it was a pretty neat idea considering the races before this, the regular races, the stunt races, the hot ring races, any of the races, that was one of the big issues. It's like people just run into each other or when they realize they're not going to win, they just go the other way and try and knock someone else out the race by running into them. But they fixed it in the arena war or they came up with a solution to that. Fast forward to this week. Open wheel races are released. F1 style racing. Racing that is probably a little bit more serious than you would normally have in GTA. A little bit more realistic. There's pit stops, your tires will degrade, your car can go down. But what did Rockstar not think about? The freaking idiots playing their game. And look, I'll include myself, all right? I ain't a good driver. I'll admit I've run into people, not intentionally, but like, it just, it happens, all right? But I cannot tell you how many freaking open wheel races I've started that have literally ended in the first 10 seconds because everyone crashes into each other and then one lone guy sneaks through somehow and then no one can catch him because he's so far ahead and everyone else's cars are destroyed. Now, I might be wrong, because again, I haven't raced in a hot minute, but I feel like there was a feature in like the stun races that for the first like 20 or 30 seconds of the race, people were in passive mode. People were non-contacted, so this wouldn't happen. So where is that feature in the F1 races? And as for going backwards and stuff and, and trying to block people, yeah, Rockstar didn't think about that either. Again, they implemented a solution, a fix for this in the arena mode, but they didn't put it in this mode. Now, sorry to the people in this race that I had to do this to, but look, I had to prove a point. I literally went backwards and started running to people. And of course, there's no passive mode for me. The game don't care. Then another guy, I guess, saw, hey, I'm not going to win. I'll team up with this guy. And we blocked the freaking pit. Yeah, you go into passive mode when you get into the pit. But when you come out, there's a, a small period where you you come out of passive mode. But you're technically still in the pit. And people can just block this area off. And you going into the pit to repair your car essentially becomes useless. Because the only way to get out is to run into our cars. Which in turn destroys your car again. Just, it's like you have this real serious style racing and they didn't think to add these quality of life fixes that would make the game way better. I mean, for some unknown reason, you can't curse boost for the first lap, but no, you can still run into everyone. Sometimes I just wonder like, how do these people in charge get to where they are? Like these are simple things you would have figured out on like the first or second play test of these races, but they didn't. And then check this out. Rockstar lied to us all. 
they bamboozled us. Look, the cars that we have to buy are three plus million dollars, right? That's bad enough. But Rockstar falsely advertising what these cars sound like might be even worse. Check out this promo video of the races and of the vehicles. and the races sound nothing like that. That sounds cool. That almost sounds realistic. Take a listen to what the races sound like and these cars sound like. Yeah, not even close. Yo, seriously though, like they really got to lie about car sounds now. And, and now going back to the cluster f at the beginning it's kind of stemming off of that but does anyone else feel like the parts on these vehicles come off way too easy i have 100 armor purchased on my custom race car again that i've spent 3.5 plus million dollars on and like one dude barely hits me in these races and my spoiler or front bumper goes flying off which ends up handicapping me for that lap severely like i don't know about you guys but when i'm racing and stuff like i want to i want to have fun and it is not fun when all of my car parts are on the freaking ground and i have to go to the, the repair pit every lap because someone barely touches me like yeah in theory it's a cool idea cool strategy but it just it's so annoying again i really don't think rockstar thought these things through when they were making this little update And this one may trigger some of the realism guys, but look, this game is not even close to being realistic. I don't care about that argument. The F1 cars, again, I paid 3.5 million for, all right? It's a, it's a lot of freaking money. And you're telling me that despite it being an open car, basically, I can't use weapons. I can't use any of my pistols. I can't shoot. I can't throw anything out of it. Yeah, it's not realistic that you'd be doing that in an F1 car. But you know what's also not realistic? Having 500 guns in your freaking back pocket that you can use at any time. It just sucks not being able to do anything like back to someone in free mode. And I feel like spending the amount of money you spend on these vehicles should give you that option. And then before we end on the somewhat fun Rockstar logic, we have just two completely unnecessary Rockstar logics. So in the casino heist, the, the freaking casino heist has been out for like three months now, all right? So I'm really not sure why Rockstar are going back to, to mess with it, but they've actually implemented some really, really annoying roadblocks, if you want to call it that, throughout the heist. Someone posted this. They actually put some rocks, which actually blocked a pretty convenient shortcut that you could take at a certain point. They also introduced more guards, naturally, to make things more annoying. And then the, the biggest troll of them all is they put a freaking maid cart in front of one of the doors you could go through to get to the getaway outfits quicker. You telling me I can't push the maid, like out of all the things, I maybe understand why they're doing this, but out of all the things, they couldn't have picked something else that looked a little less movable. This thing has four wheels. You can just push it out the way and walk right through. But that's what they decided to go with to make the casino heist more annoying. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, doing this after the fact, why does every single one of these races start with everyone's tires sounding like they're being popped? It triggers me so much. You know, the funny thing, they did all of that 
but people can still go into the tunnel that's literally like a block away from the casino, wait two and a half minutes to get the four or five stars removed, and then go about their business without having to worry about the police because the cops don't go underground. So I just, I, don't, I question what they do sometimes, man. But hey, the final Rockstar Logic ending on a good note. I don't know if this is actually realistic. I'm going to go ahead and say it's not. But I don't know enough to dispute it, so maybe it is possible. But you can drive upside down with these F1 cars. So there you guys have it. That is this week's episode. I don't actually think that was 10 Rockstar Logics, but hey, it, it was on the open wheel races and ah, man, classic Rockstar, I guess is all you can say. Thank you all for watching though. If you have your own Rockstar Logic you want to submit for a future episode, tweet it with the hashtag Rockstar Logic or you can post it in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy, subscribe for these every-ish other Sunday or so. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.